Hey, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're looking at how to quit short arming the ball, how to stop short arming through your throw, what does it look like and how to fix it. And I'll give you guys some drills and some things to work on as you're going home, along at home or going along at the ball field or at practice or whatever you're, wherever you're viewing this video. So short arming in its simplest terms, um, is when you see a guy throw the ball, but he's keeping his elbow dropped or keeping his elbow low, uh, which causes more of a push effect. And then you're staying up under the baseball and versus staying on top of the baseball. So there's a couple of problems with this throw. One, you're losing velocity on your throw. You're not your strongest thrower by short arming the ball. And then the other part is you could be prone to injury by staying low and trying to push through it. You're hammering your anterior shoulder pretty heavy and then also destroying your lat and your, your teres minor in the back a little bit depending on how you decelerate the throw which is the stopping of the arm. So those are a couple of points that you want to look out for. If you see uh, your young man, if you're, if you're watching the video and you have younger ages, take a look and make sure that they're bringing their arm up to elevation and staying on top of the baseball versus getting underneath the baseball and pushing up under it. So how do we train this? How do we fix it? The first thing I want to do is give you a drill. And I want to keep things pretty simple here. I don't want to make it more complex than it needs to be. So I would just start with kind of a split stance uh, here. Just a nice tall end. And all you're going to do is stand up and just elevate your arm here. Okay, we're not going to do any rotations or get fancy with any movements here just yet. All we're going to do is start here with our arm up and then reach back behind you and then try to get the ball out front of you on your throw. So just back and then extend. So you want to feel like you're throwing up over a mountain or a hill versus throwing through the hill or the bottom of the hill. We want to go up over the hill. So again, once you get this down here and you feel better on it, then you can work a rotation into it and then try to build it up and stay up on top and extend through the release point of the throw. All right, on the second drill, what I like to do is get into my exterior, my back hip, which is my opposite leg, right? And then I try to rotate backwards, which helps me feel the elevation of my arm versus when sometimes you go on your front side, you feel like you can pull down, but being on the opposite side makes you feel like you have to pull up, which I enjoy to help fix short arming. So up and then extend up over the hill as you're going through the throw. So a couple of things to think about there is where is my arm breaking um, off of that throw? You could also start it at a height, but I like the idea of feeling the arm action and raising the elbow up off of my brake line, almost like you're making a C with your, with your brake and your arm as it comes up and then staying up over the hill to get to your throw. As you get more advanced with it, as you get better with your throw, then you can certainly tinker out where you like and where you're strongest from on your release. On the third drill that I wanna give you guys for stopping short arm or fixing your short arm issues, understanding the comfortableness between and the timing between the, the break line and the arm action. So one drill we'll do is start it from the elbow and we're gonna to work to elevation from here up through the elbow and feel the spiral up through the arm and then go into rotation. So you could do it with the inline shuffle here. One, two, up, throw. Or you can also start it inline walk here. One, two, up, throw. The important thing as you're going through these drills is to, for me, the cue is bring the elbow up to the sky to bring the arm up to the sky, stay on top. One thing you want to be mindful of as you go through these is I don't like overextended arms where they're pinched up too tight. You want to find a nice relaxed region that works for you or your athlete on their arm action. My rule of thumb is keep the elbow even or above the shoulder line, right? Once it starts dropping below the shoulder line, then we have a tendency to lead the elbow, which could cause elbow injuries as well. So we want to keep the elbow above or equal to the shoulder line as we go through our throw. Can go out to a longer uh, three-quarter arm slot, or you can get to a higher three-quarter arm slot here, uh, more of a 90 degree. That's entirely up to you. 
once you get good at this, once you get better at throwing and staying on top of the ball versus underneath the ball, short arming and pushing, right? Then you could start doing more advanced work where you're doing your fielding approach, staying up through the ball. Or the same thing goes when you're catching a pop fly and you're trying to work through. You just want to work up through your shoulders not down into your back, into your lats. If you're interested in knowing uh, max pitches per uh, innings and rest days, uh, click the link below in the comments section that I've tagged. It's a free report that I'm putting out there to the public to help educate uh, the space. Your age is nine how, and you throw 50 pitches, how long should you rest for and so on and so forth. So if you want a free copy of that, I invite you to click the link in the description or hit the comment section. You'll also see that link in there as well. Hey, and uh, please don't forget to hit subscribe and support the channel for more pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts. One other thing as we go along, we're getting close to 30,000 subscribers at this point in the video. And uh, we look forward to doing some new types of videos, some live video work. And also there is uh, some different velocity training programs, uh, some arm care training programs that are also linked into the description if you're interested in those. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you learned today in the comments on short arming versus uh, keeping your arms elevated. Anyways, until I shoot the next video, I'll see you guys next time.